Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. I have some interesting news for you. Uh, the, the new PlayStation Portable, the PSP2, uh, has been announced. It's under the codename the PSP NGP. It was announced at a Sony news conference, a little press event that they had in Tokyo last night. So let's go over some of the specs because this device is kind of exciting. So first of all, it'll sport a 5-inch OLED touchscreen with a pretty nice pixel resolution at 960 by 544. But what will be powering this display? Well, it'll be powered by both a quad-core ARM Cortex A9 CPU as well as a quad-core Power VR GPU, which is quite impressive performance. Now, we don't know any of the details about battery life, how big the battery is going to be, but I can only imagine that obviously they're going to have to sport a huge battery in order to get adequate, you know, performance for these quad core parts. So what kind of you know graphics can we expect? Sony says PS3 like graphics and gaming performance on a mobile platform. Of course we'll have to see it to believe it and it doesn't even have to be the same as a 1080p you know thing on, you know on a television but if it's smooth and it looks solid and it really is nice on that 960 by 544 pixel screen I'm quite excited for it. But what, what are some of the other things? Because obviously in this day and age, you can't just be gaming. So it has built-in GPS, Wi-Fi, 3G, a 3-axis gyroscope, 3-axis accelerometer, and a 3-axis compass. So basically, there will be motion control support built into this. Also, dual analog sticks with, a D, with that D-pad will be on this. This will be full analog sticks the way you expect it, high-quality performance, nice feedback, and just gaming on it will feel quite good. But how will games be distributed? Well, they're not going to be available on UMDs, because that's just the way of the past. But also, they can't be downloaded because for such high-res things, it's not going to be able to be downloaded over 3G or Wi-Fi and be efficient. So they'll be available on some proprietary flash memory cards, but we're not really sure the format. So we'll get some more information for you. Uh, you know, as that comes out. But what's really kind of cool about this, remember the front is a touchscreen. There's actually a touchpad on the back exactly in the same place where that front touchscreen is going to be. So you're actually able to control touch gestures on the front, but also on the back. That's a big problem that people have, say, on the iPhone, on Android phones when they're playing games, is that when they put their hands on to control it, they're actually blocking the screen so they can't see it. So Sony has negated that problem by putting the touchscreen on the front and the back, so if you need to control something, you can do it on the front, but you can also do it on the back so you have so you have full range of view and you can completely see it. And that's just an extremely elegant idea. Good job, Sony. Kudos to you for seeing that problem. Now, another thing that I saw on this that was pretty cool in the press release that I read is something called Near, which is a location-based service. You can find out what your friends are playing now or have played uh, based on, you know, when you when they're local. So if you just walk into a cafe, or into a restaurant or whatever. Uh, that's just a bad example. I don't know what you're playing in a restaurant for, but whatever. You walk in and you know your friend has been there or is there. But you have the GPS that's built in. You'll get that, and a little notification will pop up and tell you about that. But it's not just local. If you don't want it to be, you can meet friends locally or virtually, and this will be. You'll be able to communicate by sharing game information. This seems a lot like an Xbox Live, PlayStation Network type of deal. And if they can really get it to work quite well and perhaps even implement multiplayer gaming over Wi-Fi or 3G. 3G would be pretty cool. Uh, whatever. Um, that would be quite exciting and it would be really a good thing. Of course, they also have um, an achievement, a way to track achievements in this as well because people love to, to brag to their friends about their high score in Killzone. Whoops, actually speaking of games, there are actually some solid games that were demoed. Killzone, Resistance, Uncharted, Little Big Planet, and there was even a demo of Metal Gear Solid 4 running at 20 frames per second on prototype PSP NGP hardware, which is quite exciting. Now granted that Metal Gear Solid stuff, that was a preview, or rather that was a cutscene, but it was rendered on the device itself, which is quite exciting. It, it, it's really interesting to see what games can be ported over from the PlayStation 3 and brought directly to the PSP, uh, as well as what games will be unique and will be controlled via that touchscreen on the back and the front. But you can also download PSP games and content from the PlayStation Store, as the PSP Go does. And there's also something new called the PlayStation Suite. This is the PlayStation Store for Android smartphones and tablets. 
when that first launches, the P there's going to be a PS1 emulator to start. So all those games that you grew up with will be available on the PSP or on the PSP NGP, which is pretty exciting. But also, new titles are going to be uh, designed specifically for Android gaming later this year. Now there are no hard tech specs on what the the tablet or the smartphone has to have, besides that minimum requirement of Android 2.3 Gingerbread, and this actually provides some serious evidence to the previously reported PlayStation phone that I talked about yesterday. Of course, we'll see more information about that at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona in February. But again, this store for Android will also be supported on the new PSP, so you'll be able to game on that as well, which is quite exciting if I do say so myself. Uh, now finally, let's talk about the release. This will be launching holiday season 2011. I believe that it'll be in white and black, although maybe we'll see more color options as the, as the months go on. And there's no specifics on pricing, although I do expect it to probably be in the same range as the Nintendo 3DS, if not more, because of the horsepower that this thing is pumping. Now, one thing to keep in mind, though, right now, in January of 2011, quad-core CPU and quad-core GPU looks pretty impressive. But when you consider that this isn't actually going to launch until the end of the year, it, it kind of makes you think that maybe when this comes out, and I'm not taking anything away from the PSP, but I'm simply suggesting that maybe when this comes out, it won't be as mind-blowing, uh, you know, as it is now, based on what we see in the tablet and smartphone market coming this year. That's just my true sense on that. Honestly, I'm quite excited for the PSP NGP. Now, they said one of their pillars, or some of their pillars, is outside of gaming, you know, on social networking and stuff. They didn't really talk a lot about that. I'm sure we'll see more about it as the months go on. But I think that if the PSP can do more than just gaming, if it can have solid social networking, if it has solid features with, uh, you know, say, the, the motion controlling, if it has solid features with the front and rear facing camera that's on here, I really think this can take off and be an excellent platform. The original PSP uh, really came out at, at a bad time. It was when handheld gaming was sort of going down because of smartphones coming into the market. And, you know, if they can really focus on gaming, obviously, but still have some of those extra features, that could be really exciting. And this new PSP does look good. Again, I'm not trying to bash anything. A 5-inch OLED with 960 by 554 pixels is quite exciting. Quad-core CPU and GPU is really going to pump out some stuff. And hey, if their claim is right that we can get PS3-like gaming on the go, that would be quite mind-blowing. So, I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. What is your thoughts on this PSP and GP? Are you as excited as I am? Or do you think, ah, uh, this is just a last-ditch effort to save a platform that's already too far gone? I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.